today, we're fixing, building and designing our way through an engineering extravaganza. So up next is some biomedical engineering. Being able to walk around with ease is something a lot of us take for granted. But for some, these movements can be really challenging. So we decided to use our skills to help. Hi, I'm Tian Fu. And I'm Brad. And here at the University of Adelaide, we've developed a robotic exoskeleton that could help children with cerebral palsy to get around. Cerebral palsy is a brain disorder that affects a person's muscle movement. Children with the disorder often have trouble walking, balancing and standing up straight. But physiotherapy can help improve these movements. So we decided to create a robotics device that could provide the support they need. To create this machine, we put together some initial designs for a lower body exoskeleton. Then after plenty of testing and adjusting, we came up with our final design. The reflex is basically a mechanical skeleton. It's made from aluminium alloy for the main body, stainless steel for the frame control box, and 3D printed parts for the cover. It's able to create specific movements thanks to microcontrollers and circuit boards that use algorithms to work out how each motor should rotate. The microcontrollers also receive constant feedback from sensors so it can make necessary adjustments to the rotations. So how could kids with cerebral palsy use this device? Using tools like 3D motion capture systems and pressure mapping technology, physiotherapists can gather information about the child's walking pattern trajectories or the range of motion and speed at which they walk. This would allow them to identify what areas the exoskeleton could help the child to strengthen. The exoskeleton could then be placed on the child and the instructions for movement could be locked into the system interface. The exoskeleton could then perform the required movements to help the child walk, enabling better knee movement and lower leg extensions. Over time, these repeated movements could enhance muscle strength and improve nerve connections, making it easier for the child to walk on their own. But before that can happen, we still need to do a lot more testing. Right now, we're getting ready to perform clinical trials to see how well it works in the real world. That way, we can make any final adjustments to ensure the technology is the best that it can be. It's just another way that clever engineering can help to improve the lives of people, big and small.